hello loves welcome back to my channel my name is Shumi so today I'll be showing you how I make those beautiful satin bonnet you can see on my head satin bonnets are perfect for retaining moisture in your hair preventing breakage reducing freeze and tangles keeping oils at bay and keeping your hair styles neat and tidy in this video I'll show you how to draft your pattern on paper, how to transfer it to the main fabric, and how to sew it proper. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for always stopping by. Please give this video a like if you find it helpful. Let's go to the cotton table. This is the um, fabric. The gorgeous fabric I'm going to be using for this project. This fabric is a silk fabric. Yes, it's a silk fabric. Okay, floral silk fabric. And then this one is a satin fabric. So I'm going to be using both of them for this project. I'm going to be making a big size satin bonnet. I have a detailed tutorial on how to make different sizes of satin bonnet pattern that video is going to show you how to make um, a satin bonnet pattern for you know um, toddlers infants and so on and so forth but this one is the biggest size and then this one is size 14 so i'm quickly going to show you guys how i got this so i used a plain paper like this and i measured 14 inches from this angle so I measured 14 inches, okay, this is our 14 inch mark. I took it from this angle all the way around 14 inch mark, okay, 14 inch mark. From this point, I measured it all the way round and then I cut it out. So that was how I got this. So after measuring it, there is nothing more to do but to cut it out. So that's how I got this pattern. I'm going to fold this fabric into two. So I have it into two. I'll fold it again. I'll use some clips on my pin to hold it in place okay um, so I have used my clips to hold everything in place so I'm going to go ahead to cut this this is a circle big circle so I'm going to use this pattern as well to cut our, our satin fabric just like how we cut this one out okay i'm done cutting the other side of the fabric it's a complete circle okay so this is the right side of the satin fabric. I'm going to place the right side of the silk against the right side of the satin. So I'm going to start off from somewhere here. I'm going to stitch it all the way round till I get to somewhere here. I'm going to leave off about two inches gap so I can turn this inside out from there okay so i'm going to leave off this space this is two inches you can leave one inch but i feel two inches is perfect so i'm going to sew this using half an inch when i come back i'll show you guys what next to do i have gone ahead to sew this and i left out a little space right here okay so i'm going to go on to turn this inside out So I'm going to take this to my ironing table and iron the entire fabric so that the edges will lay flat. This 
has been flat ironed if you look at the edges you see that the edges are laying flat so this is that um, small hole we left out before from this point I'm going to mark one inch I'm going to mark this one inch all the way around it like one inch all around it okay I'm going to connect from this point I don't know if you can see my chalk because of this floral design you may not see what I'm marking but just know that from this end you measure one inch one inch one inch all the way around and then from that one inch I'm going to measure half inch I'm measuring half inch because the elastic I want to use for this project is half inch okay so that's why from this point I marked one inch and then from this point I marked half inch this half inch I'm going to all the way around but this first one okay this first line that I marked I'm not going to all the way around I'm going to leave off something to enable us pass through our elastic so when I come back I'll show you guys what I mean by that so as you can see I have gone ahead to sew the first one I covered everything but I left off just small space here where we're going to pass our elastic I have an elastic band here and um, two safety pins I'm going to just fix it so um, guys this elastic is 23 inches my head circumference is 22 but I just added one inch so that when I tie it will short I don't need this to be too tight on my head so I'm going to start fixing from this hole I'm going to keep doing this until I get here. I'm going to bring it out from here. I'm going to tie this at this point. Tight it so strong. Okay. And I'll draw my elastic so everything will just go inside. Now to close this up, I'm going to use a ladder stitch. I have a detailed tutorial on how to close up holes using a ladder stitch. I will leave the link to that in the description box below. If you don't have the strength to use a ladder stitch, you can just go over to your machine and stitch this, you know. But I feel like the ladder stitch is the neatest way to do it because there is no stitch around here so there shouldn't be anyone but if you don't know how to use a ladder stitch please just go over to your machine and stitch this this is it this is our reversible satin bonnet okay so let's see the inside so to finish this finally i'll look at that point where i tied it off from okay so this is it all right so remember i have double stitches around it um for this particular one i didn't close this stitch up so i'm going quickly going to go over to my machine and i'll run another stitch here to close this up so guys i hope this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share with your family and friends until I come your way again, keep creating and have a beautiful day.